You know, it has been years, but Baltimore City is still paying out big money because of the disgraced gun trace task force from the Baltimore City Police Department. The scandal involving several police officers date back to the early 2000s, and today they made another big payout. WMAR 2 News' is Nordea Lewis joins us now with the details on this big payout and what comes next. Nordea? Yeah, Baltimore Board of Estimates agreed to pay one of the victims, Darnell Earl, $575,000 to drop his lawsuit. Earl says back in October of 2015, he was set up by officers Marcus Taylor, Evodio Hendricks, and Wayne Jenkins. Earl, he was a passenger in a vehicle the officers pulled over. He says they planted a gun and arrested him based on prior charges. He spent a year and a half in prison. After a few years, his request to have his guilty plea withdrawn was granted, and his conviction was overturned. Corruption surrounding the gun task force has forced the city to shell out over $16 million in settlement that comes from taxpayers' wallets. That kind of money, the fact that we're spending that because we had uh, cops who broke faith with the city and with the people they were supposed to be protecting and serving, uh, that's, that's a shame. With the newly approved $575,000 settlement, one of the largest the city agreed, Comptroller Bill Henry believes the city needs to look out alternatives to get some of that money back from the officers who put the city in this position. We have 575000 fewer dollars to spend on services that taxpayers desperately need and deserve. This is why I think it's so important that we pursue the idea of going to the state and getting the ability to claw back funds where we can. And there's four remaining GTTF lawsuits against the city, two of which the deputy solicitor is calling a serious financial risk. Live in Baltimore, Nordea Lewis, WMAR 2 News.